We're live in the Wamda studio with Vince Vasub, the founder of Falafel Games. Vince, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Nice you to be here. You enjoying Arabnet? Very much so. I see. Um, so t tell me about the beginning of founding Falafel Games. When did you guys start? When did you launch your first game? Well, I, I, I don't yet have a date, or an exact date of like what is the official launch of Falafel Games <coughs> because it was like a long, uh, a long iterative process starting by me being a, a closet gamer, frustrated a little bit by the lack of uh, Arabic games and then seeing a business opportunity so there's no real date i mean but officially a business we started and then looking for co-founders and officially we started in uh, end of 2010 working on our first product which launched in october 2011 so a year and a half so when you built knights of glory um did you essentially build something that you would want to play no no not me I built something that my co-founder would want to play. Uh, I did not build Knights of Glory. I, I'm the cheerleader in the company. So I cheerlead for the builders. And uh, definitely there is, I mean, there is a huge personal touch in it. But you do the personal touch, you have the input of the personal touch, you have the input of the market, you have the input of the users. You do play testing way before you launch the game. So all this together led to the, what, what uh, Knights of Glory is today, and Knights of Glory will keep evolving actually. So our users are building Knights of Glory through direct feedback and through data analysis, user behavior, they are building Knights of Glory. I see. But you're the first fully Arabic uh, massive multiplayer online game to be produced completely in the region. Why, would you, why do you think Knights of Glory was so successful? Well, <clears throat> depends what you mean by success. Uh, Knights of Glory was able to do significant achievements, <clears throat> such as a very high stickiness, high engagement of users, being voted by sorry, <clears throat> being voted by a smaller uh, uh, elite community of players as the best browser game for 2011. We believe it's because of the bet that we made that we are trying to have content that appeals to the uh, to the. Uh, what does it take to appeal to the Arabic users? A lot of discipline, a lot of hard work, uh, looking at the right things, the relevant things. Uh, when, when our game is online, you always have lovers and haters. So who do you follow? How do you keep your head clean and know what direction you want to go after? And then after going into direction, going into the nitty gritty of things, and that covers a wide, very wide space of uh, knowledge, a very wide space of skills, a very wide space of uh, continuous development. And I mean, I, it's been a year we're developing this sort of like body of knowledge, uh, and we're still early. there's still a lot to do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to answer such a question in one word. Of course not. But talk to me about the process, you and your founder, Rawan. You know, how do you make those creative decisions? He, it's, we have very clear, clear roles and responsibilities. Creative decisions are, well, he doesn't do them in a dictator style, but it's his responsibility and he's accountable for them. And, and then you are the one who goes out and sells the product. Uh, my involvement with, the, well, we have publishers, so I'm a, I sort of like cheerlead to the builders and then connect them with the publishers. Uh, my involvement with the product is more on the data analysis side, but it's, it's tiny compared to the work that the employees do. But you take the data and you get the user feedback and that feeds into your vision of the next games that you're going to produce? Well, that system is, yes, and that system is already within the company running. I just try to like, find the problems in it. So, and today it's been announced that you received investment from Middle East Venture Partners and you've also received investment from MBC Group. This is your second round from MEVP. Um, what are you going to do with that investment? <laughs> well, uh, yes, we just got a reconfirmation of uh, our vision from an existing investor and a new investor. So that's great. One is financial, the other is a strategic investor, 
large, one of the largest media companies, MBC Group. We're uh, go moving forward with uh, realizing our vision. We believe in a few years, uh, most MMO games in the Middle East will be Arabic themes. We've tra tra trailblazed that path, and uh, we just want to fill all the pockets in the future. So expand Knights of Glory, improve Knights of Glory, and fill other pockets in the market that appeal to the Arabic user first. Will you be continuing to develop MMO games? For the foreseen, for the long-term future, yes. For the foreseen future, yes, and maybe others. Like mobile or? We're looking at the market. Okay. All right, and uh, have you seen anything exciting at ArabNet that's made you you know, get excited about other potential collaborators or other platforms coming online like Gamabox or Game Taco, where people can write reviews? Yeah, actually, the, uh, it's always nice to be in ArabNet to meet the Gamabox guys and Game Taco guys. We've, we're always in communications together. Uh, we fight constructively. We agree on things, disagree on other things. Uh, the best thing about ArabNet I mean, the, the players are known. The best thing in Arabnet is that it accelerates our uh, dialectic together. And that's important. I mean, we all have learnings, and no one's learnings is enough. And the market is growing fast enough so that, you know, by just by learning, by sharing the learning, you make a huge, uh, you make a leapfrog. So when you guys come together, it kind of builds your sense of community, advances your... You know, learning from each other, subtle competition? I wouldn't say it's too early to talk about competition because the new, uh, there's a land grab race right now. But the, the new virgin land is, is, is pretty big compared to the existing. So why would you go fight other people's farms? <coughs> for the foreseen, for the medium term future, I wouldn't say there's much competition to speak about, but the hard times are gonna come three to four years down the road. Those who haven't built their walled gardens will probably have a hard time three to four years to six years from now. Consolidation waves and people are going to get killed, people are going to get... we'll see. It'll be an interesting time. Yeah, not for now. Okay. Well, we'll have to chat about it at ArabNet in four years. Sure. Good. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thanks for chatting with Wanda. Thank you, Naina.